What's up guys, welcome back. I'm back with you for another basketball update. So, in today's basketball updates, well, this is a rumor, the news, the latest news, what's been happening. Uh, for a lot of people that don't know, there's been a rumor going on for maybe about a week or so that Clay Thompson wants to be traded to another team. Now, apparently, I've only heard one team, which is the Milwaukee Bucks. But I'd like to know, could there be others? Could there be more possibilities for the future shooting guard? Because, I mean, he is off the charts really good. And um, for him to leave the Warriors, it's going to be a big loss they're taking. And um, what Clay is, uh, is apparently upset about, he's upset about the sacrifices he has to make. He's upset about the whole... Um, how he has to step back, how he's losing points, he's losing his averages, all this type of stuff has been brought up and I think, I think it's possible that he could be traded. Now, uh, it's hard to think that Clay Thompson could be traded from the Golden State Warriors, but does he have other options? I think he does. Now, the Warriors need to think about this carefully. They're losing their shooting guard, their best shooting guard on the team. Now, obviously Steph Curry, yes, he can shoot threes consistently, well, as we saw in the playoffs, it's obvious that the game time really did affect him. It really did affect him. Now, Clay, if you saw in the finals or the Western Conference Finals last year, Clay kept them in it. Clay put the team on his back and just went with it. Shooting threes, attacking the paint, all types of stuff. He was playing defense and everything. Now Clay, he's a pretty, I'd say Clay, he doesn't have to rely on his jump shot. He does rely on it, but he doesn't have to. He can always go to the paint. With Steph, he relies on his three-pointers a lot. You know, his jump shot a lot. Like, that's his main arsenal. You know, I feel like Clay, he has a lot more to give the team rather than Steph. Now, I'm not saying Steph isn't a, a good player. He's a great player, of course. But losing Clay, the dynasty, the Splash Brothers, I mean, that's just gonna, what's gonna happen? What is actually gonna happen? But here's my view on the teams he could go to. Now, what you got to remember is that these teams are just um, off the top of my head and why I think he would be a good fit. Now, um, the team he could go to, well, teams he could go to, uh, number one, the Milwaukee Bucks. Now, the Milwaukee Bucks just lost um, OJ Mayo to the, obviously the drug ban. He could go there, yes. And um, he wouldn't be on such a bad team. I mean, the Bucks haven't really been known to be up there for the playoffs and everything. But yeah, you know, the Bucks haven't really been good since the semis. Uh, let's just be honest, since Big O, since um, Oscar Robertson days. <laughs> it's just that simple. But they had had some good players coming in and out. I'm not going to lie to you. So if Clay does go there, he would help the team by bringing better chances. Hopefully, you know, a playoff spot. And uh, it would bring a lot more to the table. With the with the box, but I think that'll create a, mo a more of a rivalry because the Bucks and the Warriors do have that ri rivalry going on. So that's going to be really edgy if um, Clay does go there. The second team he could go to would be the Sacramento Kings. Now the reason why I say the Sac Sacramento Kings is because they've got Rudy Gay and Demarcus Cousins, and right now the Kings ain't in the playoff spot at all. They're not in any talks for playoff time. So if Clay does go there. He has a chance of bringing the team up into the rankings to get into the playoffs now. Would they be contenders? Maybe not. But he does have a bet. He, he will help DeMarcus Cousins a lot more. And it might get DeMarcus Cousins to stay because I mean he's been stuck at that team for a good couple years now. And I think it's going to come to that point where he might leave. So that's my whole opinion of it. Um, he also has another choice, which is... Um, I'm trying to think of other teams. He could go to the Mavericks. Now, the Mavericks, they haven't... Hmm. They had a, the shooting guard, I don't know. It depends. It really does depend on the Mavs. But at the same time, if he does go there, you know, he's got his old teammate, Harrison Barnes. He's got Bogut there. Dirk is there, definitely. He can, he can help Dirk get that second ring before Dirk retires. So, it's really down to him. He's got all these teams he can pick from. Now, he could... He could go to the Cavs. Now, the reason why I say he could go to the Cavs, and that would create even more rivalry between the Warriors and the Cavs, is because, you know, Clay, he's a really good shooter. Uh, the, 
the Cavs, they don't really have a shooting guard that they can rely on. Clay could be the guy that they could rely on. So imagine if he goes there, that will be, that's it. That will be like, <laughs> it's just be like, what, really? You're gonna go there? It's, it's gonna be even more of a rivalry. So I think him going there will just bring out the best qualities for the for the um, Cavs. And especially LeBron James is there, Kyrie's there. That's a big three right there. Kevin Love, is, <laughs> I'm sorry, but like, is he really a, a big three? Does he really make the big three the big three anymore? Nah, it's just the big two now because he doesn't, he's not a part of the food that he puts combined when it comes to the playoffs. So that, that sort of thing I'm coming from. That sort of thing I'm coming from. And hopefully, uh, maybe Clay will go there. You, you never know. Another team I could say he, he could go to is uh, maybe the Spurs. Because you know how the Spurs are. They distribute minutes well. You know, if you want to be the star, they'll let you be the star. And he's got Kawhi Leonard. He's got defensive players. He's got offensive players. So it doesn't matter who's on his team. He will he will get minutes. He will score. He will pick and pass the ball to whoever he likes and get everything going. And, um, you know, Clay is what I noticed about Clay, he's pretty versatile. So he can adjust and adapt quicker than maybe Steph could on another team. The last team I, I can think of would be the Knicks. Now, the Knicks have got Melo, D Rose, Pozingis, and Noah. Now, if Clay went to the Knicks, that could be interesting. Could they make the playoffs? Would it be a lot more interesting? No. That's the thing. I mean, Melo, he is a really good player, but he won't have to worry about his point averages going up or going down, really. It will pretty much be neutral. You know, he would be someone else to rely on. I mean, ever since Derek Rose and Noah went to the Knicks, they have other two players to rely on. And Paul Zingas is there, so he, can, he, he also has four other players from the starting five to rely on, not just himself. So, you know, it's that sort of, and Clay's a clutch player as well. So it's that sort of mindset he has. And, uh, you know, going to the Knicks wouldn't be a bad option for him. So let him, it could work, it could work, it could work. Okay, it's, I'm just going off the top of my head. If there have been any teams that I haven't said, or it could be a possibility, just let me know in the comment section down below, of course. And uh, last thing to note is, the Splash Brothers, man. Will it really be no more? Will that dynasty era really end? Is Clay really that upset? Boy, we're going to have to find out in the next couple of weeks because no one really knows for sure. And I don't think trades will start be, will be happening just before... Uh, yeah, trades normally happen before um, just before All-Star game. Well, let's say a month before the All-Star game. So, hopefully Clay can get his... Um, if Clay can get his minutes and his... And his averages up, you know. I'm, I'm caught. of course he's going to be happy. He's going to stay with the Warriors, but if not, he's going to go. So I mean, it, it's just it is really. It has to. He has to really uh, step up now. I mean, I know Durant can take a lot of the minutes and the points and everything, but you know, that's what happens when um, you know he's on a team where he doesn't feel like he feels he feels appreciated for that. But you know, at the end of the day, basketball is a team game. So whatever decision you do doesn't just affect uh, yourself; it affects the whole team as well. Sometimes, in some cases, it doesn't really matter too tough, but it does eventually. So yeah, guys, if um, like I said, if I've, if there's any teams or any information I left out, leave it in the comment section down below. Um, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And um, I'll see you for the next video. Peace.